name is Ivan, and welcome to the RV Cooking Show, a place where I can share with you my passion for RVing and my love for recreating regional food specialties from all across the country right here in my RV kitchen. Today we're going to talk about a little town called Port Aransas, right off the mainland Texas Gulf Coast, and I'm going to show you how to make some sensational shrimp and asparagus. Port Aransas is just a little small touristy town on Mustang Island. It's northeast of Corpus Christi, Texas. You can access Port Aransas by the JFK Causeway from Corpus Christi, or you can be a little more adventurous and you can put your camper on a ferry from Aransas Pass over to Port Aransas. At first I was a little skeptical about putting my RV on the ferry, but they assured me it was fine and indeed it was. Enjoy the beautiful scenic ride about five minutes over to the island. The park that we love to stay at is just a few miles south of town, and there's also Mustang Island State Park just a little further than that. When we get to our park, we love to go to the beach, and it's right on the beach. But to get there, you have to cross the dunes. And I've never seen dunes like this before. These dunes have sunflowers, and they smell amazing. When you get to the other side of the dunes, you'll see that this is one of the few beaches in the United States that you can actually drive on. The hard packed sand is great to take nice long walks, and they've conveniently given us mile markers as we go, because you can't see over the dunes. Make note of what mile marker it is when you come out to the beach so you'll know where to get back to your camper. Port Aransas and Mustang Island are also on the central flyway for migrating birds in the spring and in the fall. You might even see some of my favorites, the Rosette Spoonbills. One of the huge events that happens in Port Aransas every April is the Texas Sand Fest. It is a sand castle or a sand sculpting contest and event. Now these aren't sand castles like you and I used to make when we were kids at the beach. These are amazing works of art. The sand sculptures are only sand and water and a lot of skill. On the mainland you can also visit the Aransas National Wildlife Refuge where the endangered whooping crane winters over or you can see one of my favorites, a wild pig playing in the surf. Before we begin making our sensational shrimp and asparagus, I'd like to recognize one of our generous sponsors that helps us bring the RV cooking show to you, Best Parks in America. Exceeding expectations, every time, every location. They've got a new website, check them out, bestparksinamerica.com. Today we're going to make our sensational shrimp and asparagus, and it sounds kind of fancy dancy, but it really isn't. There's a few steps to it. In fact, we're going to make it in two specific steps. The first step, we're going to make a cream fresh and lemon sauce. Then we're going to cook up our shrimp and asparagus with some pancetta. So let me show you what we're going to put in the sauce. We'll make that first, and then we'll start cooking the shrimp and asparagus. You'll see it's delicious. In our bowl, we're going to put one quarter cup of cream fresh a little bit richer and a little tastier than sour cream, which can be used in a pinch. To that we're going to add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to put in about one tablespoon of snipped chives. I'm going to reserve just a few to put on the top as a garnish. And now my trick with the lemon juice. When I get a bag of lemons oranges or limes. I like to squeeze them all with my juicer. I put them in an ice cube tray and I freeze them in my freezer. Once they're frozen I break them out of the tray and I can use the individual cubes that run somewhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon depending on how full I make my ice cube tray. So let me show you how I'm going to do it. Right here in my freezer I have my nifty bag of lemon juice ice cubes. I'm going to look in here and I'm going to pull out one ice cube. I'm going to put it in my bowl over here and I'm going to put it in the microwave and I'm going to melt it. Easy enough. Okay, my lemon juice is melted, fresh, with a little bit of pulp in it even. I'm going to put that in my cream fresh olive oil chive mix. Use my whip, just gently mix it all together. 
We're ready to prepare our sensational shrimp and asparagus, so let me show you what the ingredients are for this step, and then we'll get it on the stove and start cooking. To begin with, we're going to need about a pound of shrimp. And this particular shrimp is size 21 to 24 per pound. I've shelled them, I've cleaned them, and I've butterflied them. It just makes them, it seems, meatier on the plate when they're butterflied. We're also going to use some pancetta, which is an Italian dry cured bacon. We'll use one shallot. And a shallot looks like an overgrown garlic, but really it's got more of a mild onion flavor. And with the shallot, what we've done is we've taken it and sliced it into nice thin slices. We're also going to use asparagus, but you could use broccoli or Brussels sprouts are fantastic in this dish. And what I've done is I've cut the asparagus up into small pieces. We're also going to put in some garlic and some butter, but at the very end. I've got two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in my pan. Once this heats up, we're going to add about two to three ounces of pancetta. Pancetta is typically round, and you can sometimes find it in your deli, and sometimes you can find it prepackaged in your deli case. I'm going to put it in our hot olive oil and saute it up until it's nice and crisp. You want to flip your pancetta just like you would flip bacon. And by the way, if you can't find pancetta in your grocery, bacon is a good substitute. Not quite as good, but good. We're going to remove our pancetta. I'm going to set these aside and add the other ingredients to the pan. We're going to add our vegetable, our asparagus, right into the hot oil. And we're also going to add our shallot. The asparagus and the shallots are going to cook in the olive oil with a little bit of flavoring from the pancetta until the asparagus are bright green and beautiful with still a little bit of crispness to them. These have been cooking about five minutes and they're a beautiful bright green. I think they're done. So let's test them and see and then we can move on. What we're going to do is we're just going to pick a little bit up here. We're going to put our fork through it. If the fork goes through it easily, just like this did, it is ready. Next is we're going to take our pancetta. We're going to crumble it up and mix it into our asparagus. We're going to push the vegetables and the pancetta off to the side and get ready to cook the shrimp. We're going to take our shrimp we're going to cook them in this half of the pan where the vegetables are not. Just like that. We're going to add just a little bit of salt. Important at this step in the cooking. A grind or two of fresh ground pepper. And flatten them out. We're only going to cook the shrimp for about two minutes. We don't want to overcook them. We want them to just be opaque. The shrimp is almost cooked, so now we're going to mix it together with the asparagus, shallot, and pancetta mix. The last step is to turn off the heat and remove the pan from the hot burner. At this point, we are going to add one tablespoon of butter and we're going to crush one clove of garlic, mix it up. We'll be ready to serve it and eat. The only thing that would make this sensational shrimp and asparagus better is some lemon cream fresh sauce. Now I don't put it on the top of the dish, rather I serve it on the side. Well, this looks good enough to eat and I think I'm ready to do so. You can find this recipe and others you've seen on the RV Cooking Show as well as information about the cool destinations that we've talked about on our website at www.rvcookingshow.com. Thanks for coming along today. I hope you've enjoyed the show, and I can't wait to see you next time right here on the RV Cooking Show.